Hi. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the video. Hi, it's Trevor Emden here from wizardofwisdom.com. Now, I've been thinking about this, what I'm going to talk to you about today, for quite a while. And I really want to call it the Zen of self-improvement. Um, you know those those old Zen koans we used to hear about, like what is the sound of one hand clapping and that kind of thing. Those questions that logically are impossible to answer. Well, my question is, what it began with, what is self-improvement? What does self-improvement mean? But then I got to thinking, well, where is the self that we're improving? See, if I want to improve, oh, I don't know, this pen, let's say I design pens, and I, I might say that, you know, instead of having a, a clicker at the top, it has a, a twist thing like this, which this one does. And maybe I decide that's an improvement. So something that's real and tangible like this can theoretically be improved upon. We see examples of that all the time. Car manufacturers change the design and the and the features of their cars and so on and so forth. Probably not always improvements, but they're always changing them. So that's easy to see. But when you talk about self-improvement, we need to know, really, don't we, what it is we're actually improving? Because let me ask you this. Where is yourself? You see, people think that, and I have done, well, I'll, I'll improve the way I behave, which means I'll change my thoughts. Okay, but are you your thoughts? I don't think we're our thoughts, are we? I've never heard anybody say, I am my thoughts. They'll say, I, I've had a thought. Well, somebody's had the thought then. There's a self having the thought. Hmm. Um, we say it about our personalities. Well, I'm the kind of person who, you know, but I ha we'd also say, I have a personality. As if it was like someone we know, like a friend or an acquaintance or a neighbor. <laughs> so we kind of instinctively know that we are not our personalities. We have one, but you see, it changes. It changes anyway without us doing anything about it. You know, the personality that you had when you were... A couple of hours old compared to a couple of years old compared to like 20 years old is vastly different. The beliefs that you've had over the years, <clears throat> the things that you do and talk about, your behavior's changed anyway. So, and we can we say as well, well, I'm self-aware. Hmm. But that, that means that there's a, a watcher watching the behavior of the all that conglomeration of bits and pieces, the jigsaw puzzle of thoughts and feelings and beliefs and behaviours and personality and even your body. See, people recognise you and me from our looks, but we don't say, I am my body. We say, I have a body. We say, I have, I don't know, an ingrowing toenail. Not... I am an ingrowing toenail. If you have a, a disease or a discomfort of some kind, we're aware that there's a self that has the thing or the symptom or the characteristic or whatever it is. So, if you're not your thoughts, but you're having thoughts about improving yourself, there's someone having the thoughts... Someone who's aware of having the thoughts, but the someone surely is the self. And that self seems to me that it's just perfect. Because it's peaceful, it's quiet, it just watches, it lets you get on with whatever you want to get on with. Hmm. Do you think that maybe... All of this activity to do techniques and to learn how to change yourself. Actually, all you need to do is just 
let it all go so that you could just be yourself? Am I hinting at something that's resonating somewhere inside you here? I, this is one that I imagine will spark some debate. And that's okay. I like that. Let's have a debate. But what you may find interesting is how to let go of all the thinking, all the busyness that goes on in your head. Because you will find, if you know how to do that, that, that that's, that's peace. Now, I've created, there are lots of ways to do it, um, but I've created a, a very easy, a little five-minute technique that I've called the impossible problem fixer. Because when you do let go of all those thoughts, all your problems will, will dissolve and solutions will come to you. So um, it's called the five-minute impossible problem fixer. It's free, um, and you can, you can go and download it right away. So um, you'll find a link. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be below the video. It's wizardofwisdom.com. And just go there and, um, and download that and discover what it's like to let go. You have to start with doing something because we think we always have to do something. And you'll see when you get the, the impossible problem fixed. I've walked you through a, a few steps because we like that oh, step by step by step. But of course, every step you're doing is still a thought. But eventually, it'll just disappear it'll vanish like a bubble so have fun with that and um have fun with this as well if you're going to do self-improvement where's the self uh i'd be interested in your comments put them in the if you're watching on youtube put them in the comment box we'll have a chat and uh go and get that impossible problem fixer thanks for watching see you soon that's all folks now click the link below the video to get your free gift. Thanks for watching.